As anyone goes to select a performance reporting system, there's a few things you should look for. In the EPRS system, we have included a clear description of the metric, a summary of the performance status, both chart and in words, links to associated documents. These may be process instructions, sampling instructions, or references to how the metric is created. Anything you may wish to associate, including other metrics. A timeline or a journal of the changes or efforts that are being made. Notification or information about any change that is being made. Also, you'd like that metric to be sortable or grouped in many different ways, and it should be relatively free to do this. All of this is attained in the EPRS system. Here we have an example of a metric output in the EPRS system. You can see at the top a clear description of the metric, both title and a description. Below that comes the performance status. This is where we use the red, yellow, green coding to show the behavior that we expect for the metric. Below that comes a mail to button. This is where any viewer can send an email directly to the owner of the metric or the person that controls it for questions, concerns, or other issues. Below that comes the link section. This can be very powerful. In this section, you can create links to anything on your network. It can be a document, a procedure, even a picture or diagram of the sampling. Now, on the lower right is where we have the comment block. This is where the process owner can record any changes they've noted in the process, performance issues, trends or other things they may be investigating. We also recommend that the process owner record process improvement or performance improvement efforts in the comments. Also in the middle is the metric chart, which can be expanded. This is an example of a performance chart that we call the 30,000 foot level format. It includes two sections. There's a plain text performance statement at the bottom of the chart. At the top is a graphical representation of performance, showing it over time and in aggregate for capability. Now we will go through the administrative screen to set up a metric such as the one in this example. This is a general window we use to set up a chart such as the one we're using in this example. In the left hand section we enter the information that will be used by Minitab to create the chart. On the right is where we select the data source where the data for the chart exists. An example of the chart is shown below this allows you to check to make sure it was formed properly. Below the chart is the link that can be used to access the completed chart and performance report that we've shown earlier. In this window, we set the metadata for each metric. The first item is the owner's email address. This is what is triggered with the mail to button. The section below it is where you enter the metadata. This may be any format from numbers, text, or choosing from a drop down menu. The user will pick the fields that they think they need in their installation. These fields are used for sorting and grouping to make local scorecards. User accessibility is controlled by this window. First, you may choose to leave a metric available for everyone in the network to see, or you may limit its viewing. If you choose to limit viewing, you can either do it by specific login ID or by user group. One advantage of the EPRS system is the ability of it to acquire data automatically, build the chart, and publish it for your scorecard without any interaction of a person. The example here shows a weekly update. You pick the hour and the day. Automatic updating of data and the building of charts is available on three periods, daily, weekly, and monthly. In this window, we create the links, which are available when viewing each metric. They may include files off a file server, to HTML linked resources on your network. In this last window, the process owner will enter comments, changes, and any general information they want to share about this metric that the viewers will be able to scroll through when they're viewing the metric. If you have further interest in the EPRS system, feel free to contact Smarter Solutions at info at smartersolutions.com or you can call 512 918-0280. Thank you.